the world is made by human beings, not by gods. Now, this could sound a bit odd because you might think, well, no one thinks the world is made by gods. But I think we sometimes, it's a very natural childlike position. When you, when you first show up at school, you know, you're tiny, you're the size of a small chair and and you know the teacher is a giant really and and it seems like they control the whole of the world and they tell you this and that and you've got to learn this and you've got to do it like that and from that we take away a sense that the world is built according to laws we don't quite understand by people who are you know immeasurably more powerful and skilled and you know something's going on in a, in a room somewhere where people are pulling the levers etc i think to give your child a sense it's a world built by humans, all of whom are basically a little bit like you, a bit scared, a bit, you know, bit worried, a bit flawed, a bit good, a bit bad, etc. And you can have a shot at shaping how you see your life. I think it's a very important lesson. You, know, you walk down the street, why, why does the street look the way it does? Because you know, someone had a really bad idea about what urban design was in about 50 years ago. And that's why the, the street looks as awful as it does. There's no, there's no law in this. We, we could be living in a beautiful town, maybe. And you, child, might design the beautiful town if you get into that sort of position. So rather than saying the way it is, is the way it has to be. In many areas, there's much more flexibility. And I think traditionally, this has been something that so-called privileged people have, uh, you know, because they see mummy or daddy is actually the prime minister. And so they're pulling the levers of power. So the child gets a sense, oh, well, it's just that idiot in the kitchen who I call mummy is actually also going off to, you know, it's got a cabinet brief or something. And then, you know, you get the lesson automatically. And that's a certain psychological privilege to think the world is made by people that I could see in the kitchen. But, but if you think the world is made by gods who live on Mount Olympus, so I think anything you can do to humanise the structures of power, if you like, is a very useful thing for a child to know about.